Hey guys, I've had a few comments on my videos asking if I would make some headbands for an elf on the shelf. So I've gone ahead and designed these headbands for my elf Flurry. I've made a few different ones because I kind of got into it, so she's got quite a few now. I will also be doing an elastic type of headband, but I figured I'll do that in another video, so at least you've got something to make now if you want to make a treat for your elf. So as you can see, they're made using pipe cleaners and some ribbon and they're really cute and festive. I've got a red one, a white one, another white one and I've also got these plain ones here as well. So to do it all you need are some pipe cleaners which come in different colours. I decided to go for red and white because that's what my elf wears anyway. So I'll show you quickly how to do it with this pipe cleaner here. You're also going to need some ribbon. As you can see my bows are in like a green and red colour and then I've also tied it on using a red ribbon. So here you'll see the ribbon for the bow and this is the ribbon I used to tie it all together. So let's get started. First of all you need to take your pipe cleaner and we're just going to make it into this shape. So I will put the dimensions for the pipe cleaner to make your headband below so that you can just copy it. And once you've made one it's easy to make the others. All you have to do is just copy the same size and then just shape it. Don't worry too much about the shape because your elf will be able to adjust it themselves if need be. So all you're going to do is try and make like a curved shape to go onto your elf's head. Once you've done that, you need to just take your ribbon. So to make the bow, you need to cut off a little bit of ribbon. So again, I will put the dimensions down below for how much ribbon I used. You're just going to chop it and find the center piece of your ribbon. So you've just folded it in half, basically. Now we don't need this anymore, so we'll move that to the side and get started with this. So now what you need to do, you've found your centre piece, you're going to fold the left side into the centre and just bring it down a little bit. The right side into the centre and again bring it down a bit. Then you take your thinner ribbon, which here we've got the red piece, and all you're going to do is just tie that around the centre. Now this bit does look a little bit messy, but it will come together pretty quickly. So just tie a knot in the red ribbon. If it does fall out like that, don't worry because you can fix it pretty easily just by folding it back in. And once you've got it in the center of your ribbon, all you're going to do is just pull tightly on your red thin ribbon. Like so. Once you've pulled it tightly, you can adjust it. So then we're just going to open up your ribbon properly. Just make sure to keep it pretty tight. But then any bits that come off like this, just snip them away. We don't want it to look messy when our elf is wearing it. And again, another red one here, we'll just snip that away. Like so. Now you've got your bow and we're ready to get sticking it on. So here's the headband. You're just going to hold it onto the side of your pipe cleaner and just tie a knot. I do double tie mine just so that it's extra safe for when my elf is wearing it in case she gets caught somewhere or she's flying really quickly. I don't want her headband to fall off. And then we'll do it again. Once you've tied it twice, oops, I'm just struggling with this one. There we go. Once you've tied it twice, you're just going to cut off the excess ribbon for the red piece of ribbon. So we'll just snip that there and snip that. Now you can just move it over to exactly where you want it to be. I've put mine on the side, you could put it on the top, you could put it both sides, you could make this exactly how you want it to look for your own elf. But there you go. That's how you make your elf on the shelf headband. Like I said, I will be doing another design and I'll do another video perhaps tomorrow, maybe the day after, because I will be making a lot of things for my elves over the next couple of days. So here you go. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe, 
comment and come back tomorrow where you'll be able to see not only where my elf is and what my elf is doing, but what I make for them too. Thanks for watching. Bye.